Hey guys, we are going to do MTG Finance this weekend, mainly because I'm going to be gone for Memorial Day. Actually, I'm starting, I have to volunteer on Saturdays because I already committed it, but Sundays, and I actually have Friday off, so I'll be pretty much stacking my volunteer on Friday. So I've decided, hey, let's do some MTG Finance, uh, just because you guys ask a lot about MTG Finance. And we'll begin with one of my favorite current speculations and it's not what you expect it to be. I think the video will be titled 24 Dragon Speaker Shamans for like 50 cents a piece. Dragon Speaker Shaman has been trading extremely well for me. Um, obviously the Dragon set would help the value. It has been trading in play sets mostly. I keep them in play sets. And unfortunately I had a play set of this one and I don't no longer have it. So I had 24 Dragon Speaker Shamans and they were somewhere in storage. I knew I had a lot of them because I also had that Goblin Dude, which was actually at the time way more valuable than Dragon Speaker Shaman. I forget what that dude's name was. Uh, it made your Dragon, it made your Goblins cost one less and gave them all haste. So that card was fantastic. And I actually had opened a ton, or I traded for a ton of these uncommons in the set, and I opened a ton of boxes back in the day. I think it was like 10 years ago, eight years ago, and I had, I knew I had a bunch of them because I knew I had more of these than I had of that goblin dude. This card is extremely valuable now. Um, it is, it's, not only is it valuable, it is also very liquid. And yes, was it a eight year waiting period, I guess? Yes, it was. But the card was under a dollar in trade. Um, back then, we didn't have ED8s. We didn't really have, well, we didn't have modern, but it's not really modern playable. But we didn't have ED8s. Uh, no one really had tried dragon decks. And once a card rotated in standard, if it wasn't strong enough for something called extended, then the price just plummets like crazy. Even if it was good enough for extended, no one played extended. Uh, we didn't have modern. It was a lot different back then. It was either this card is good enough for legacy or the card's going to plummet in price. And casual was not, a like kitchen table casual was very weird back in the day because no one knew prices, all that type of stuff. Regardless, I accumulated 24 of these. And yeah, obviously I'm going to keep my play set and I'll trade these two away probably. These not only have increased drastically in price compared to when I picked them up, they also did something very interesting. They are so liquid right now that if I put them in my binder, people will, in every single person, I put these two in my binder, every single person has wanted them. Um, I had to play sets of, I didn't put, I think I put like 18 of them in my binder. No, I put 20 of them in my binder. Within a day, they all traded away. And this was like two weeks ago. And I was like, okay, this is kind of crazy. Um, it's so liquid. And I actually asked for a premium for the other two last playsets. The people were willing to trade legacy cards into it. Uh, people, I essentially traded them for fetch lands, which is my safe option where I pretty much don't know what I want to do with the card. I just trade them into fetch lands or shock lands or uh, rhinos, um, foil rhinos. Actually, I traded them into. I traded them into a into a bigger deal for another force of will, which then I traded into a anime figure, blah 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 blah. And yeah, so this card was very good for me. And let's get to like the current card, but it's like kind of like, oh hey, I have 24 of them, that's awesome. That doesn't really help my subscribers at all, right? Like, I don't know, maybe you want to trade for them. <laughs> this card, but not just this card, this card type of card the promo version of dragon lord servant is so cheap right now i look at the card and i just am reminded so much of dragon lord servant i mean first of all it is a card that is good for casual players it is a card that while not played in tiny leaders because you don't have any dragons costed i mean it wouldn't help you even if you could play higher costed dragons because that's not what tiny leaders is about it is played in EDH. Um, it is very good in EDH Dragon Tribal decks. It is very good in casual decks. And I've seen a trend where people just play kitchen table casual and that, I believe, is the best type of magic. Uh, where you're not playing for power levels, you're not playing to win, you're just playing because you want to have fun. Um, and instead of being EDH format where you just have one of everything, you can have four. And that's what I play right now. I play this kitchen table format and this card is so popular. Not the card itself, but the promo version of it. 
big difference between the promo version and the actual card. The actual card is an uncommon printed in a set which, let's be honest, there's a bazillion cards like this right now. I mean, it, Dragon's Tarkir has been open to oblivion. But this card you can only win from rolling that stupid dice game. And in my opinion, no one won this card. I mean, no one got up to this, or if they got up to it where they could pick it, they could pick the dragon, and they would always pick the dragon. This card is so cheap right now. Um, yes, maybe it takes eight years to get up to like six to eight dollars, but it is beyond cheap. Like, I have never seen... Like, it doesn't make sense to me why the promo version of this particular card with different art, with the little sticker, that you had to win playing this random dice game that not every store actually played or even did correctly. Um, a lot of stores actually you had to pick which one you wanted to win instead of doing correctly where you won all of them if you rolled a certain dice. So yeah, uh, the card is very good. I find that it is in eight years from now, I, if I'm still doing this, I will make, probably make another video saying, oh look at the X amount of copies, do I have 24 copies of this? Of Dragon Lord Servant, and I traded them for $8. I mean, the whole idea of MTG Finance, MTG Speculation, um, it is something I like, but I only like it because I just own, as you're gonna see, like I actually own like 18 non-foil Gitaxian probes, I own five foil for my deck. No, do I own, I either own five foil or nine foil, so, regular Gitaxian probes, but I also own like 18 foil Gitaxian probes, so many of these mines and so many Pendle Haven somewhere. Yeah, so I'm going to go over MTG Finance and see like how if you intend to play Magic for the long term, eight years is nothing. I've been playing Magic since beta and I've had stacks of cards like Dragon Speaker Shaman and Dragon Lord Servant is no different from it at all. So in eight years from now, I'll be making a video saying, oh cool, these are eight dollars. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.